I made this. the volume it puts out right there okay so it's really good for rinsing down the house and stuff if you want to you could switch out the tips just like you can you can go to a fan tip and you can rinse off the bush to keep the plants wet just like that thank you but we've got the water hooked up right now we got our soft wash line out we got a bulk rinse line out and we've got a, a pretty dirty house done doing it we're going to go ahead and you can see up there, do you all see where the lead has oxidized and come down and made clean streaks in the roof? That's where I was talking about the zinc oxide, copper oxide, lead oxide. Okay, those things are poisons to algae mold, mildew, and lichen. Okay, so that comes in there and it makes a clean streak underneath it. So that you're not seeing lead streaking there, you're actually seeing a clean streak that the lead has created on the roof. Okay, now that's because also too, lead has deposited there. So when we clean that, I'm having to uh, compete with a... <laughs> they're, they're busting up concrete or something over there. This isn't a super funkalicious house, but you can see it not only has the black algae and mildew on it, but it also has some of the reds and the greens. And you know, we've got some different stuff on here. I've seen some pictures online where the entire walls almost red just from the algae the red, that red algae growing on the wall and that stuff the red algae is great because it cleans up nice the customers are really like wow you made my house look like brand new so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the wand here and start spraying the wall here and you'll see how quickly the render comes clean now if i start spraying it it doesn't come clean right away all i have to do is walk over to the blend module remember and just adjust my number put too weak a chemical in there you can still treat the wall with the weak chemical and then come back and boost it with the stronger chemical. Well, no, no, we're gonna use, probably I'm gonna start with a 2% bleach solution, a number two on the bleach, yeah. and I'll probably go in number three on the soap. And then I'm gonna use the Trinity, the green wash, Terra wash, rain fresh, mixed together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the numbers over here. So I'm gonna go with two on the bleach. And about a three on the soap. Okay, so no measurements, no math, nothing like that necessary. Two on the bleach, a three on the soap, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the valve for our house wash trinity. That's the green wash, terra wash, and rain press. Okay, make sure it's on tank, make sure it's on reel, turn on the power. Okay, now I've got some water in my line here, so I could go ahead and spray the water on the house while I'm waiting for the chemical to come in, just to go ahead and pre-moisten the algae, because how many of y'all have ever spilled a drink on the counter and you go to the sink to grab your sponge, and if the sponge is dry and crusty, you go to wipe up that drink, it just kind of pushes it ahead, okay? But if you take that sponge and put it in the water and get it all mealable and squeeze the water out of it, you can almost just drop it right in the middle of the spilled drink and it'll soak it up. Same thing with the algae. If you can pre-moisten it a little bit, it'll actually clean up better. So I'm just gonna come up here, go ahead and pre-moisten some of this. 
Hey, remember I told you guys cross hatching? Oh. I'm gonna show you guys a cross hatching technique now. Come back this way. And come down. Come back this way. Come across. I'm just waiting to see when my soap, my soap gets here, you'll see the suds. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep pretty moist. It's like, no, so here's my bobbling the wand. Y'all see the bobbling the wand technique? That's bobbling the wand right there. It's hard to believe that this whole wall's gonna come out the color that it is under the windows. Now, does anybody know why it's clean underneath the windows? Say that again? Is the window cleaners walls are coming down? Purified water? What else? Protected from the weather. Excuse me? Protected from the weather. Protected from the weather? What else? Protected from the sill. It's protected from the sill? Okay, so what kind of building material do we have here? So there's, there's something, what I'm looking at there, because if you look at it, it's actually cleaned down on the sill in front of it. There's something leaching out of that window. So since you guys still have lead here and things, I bet you there's lead in the caulk, and when the caulk is oxidizing, there's some, something oxidizing out of there that's coming out and it's killing the algae mold, mildew, and lichens, because it's not just under the underhang here. Okay, up here is also cleaner than the walls. So, you know, sometimes the building materials themselves are resistant to the algae mold and fungus and stuff like that. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda get this wall wet a little more and bobbling my wand. Those columns are funky too. All right, there, see our chemical? All right, so I'm gonna come back across here. Y'all watch the overspray, there is a little wind. Yeah, I'm bobbling my wand as I go across here. Yes. Are you um, soft washing right now? No, I'm not. Mainly, not. mainly window cleaner. So you're really interested in adding this onto your business? Yeah, yeah, just came along for a bit of an insight into what goes on in this industry, really. What, um, did you do the class yesterday? Yes. How did you find it? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, a bit of an eye opener. So um, why do you want to add soft wash to your window cleaning business? Um, I think it would probably be more lucrative than uh, window cleaning and, and uh, gutter and facial cleaner. So you'll notice parts of the building here that the sun's getting on will clean quicker than the shaded parts of the building. Even if the air temperature isn't 42 degrees, like have you ever noticed, it can be above freezing, but you guys will get ice on your roofs. Have y'all ever seen that? Okay, frost on the roofs, that's called the surface temperature of the roof is actually below <coughs> freezing. So you get frost or ice on the cars or on the roof, even though the air temperature isn't freezing. Same thing with the wall of the building. The wall of the building will actually be about 10 degrees Fahrenheit or probably about three to five degrees Celsius, colder than the actual air temperature. So even though your air's warmer, the walls will clean up a little slower. Sometimes when I turn my back to a project and talk to you guys, it'll start to clean up because I'm giving it time to dwell. You know the old saying? A, uh, Watched over pot doesn't boil. You know, a watch pot doesn't boil. Okay, so we're letting this kind of start to bake a little bit. You can kind of see the part of the house that's in the sun. It's reacting with a little more. But now if I want to, I don't have to mix a whole batch if I want to go ahead and bump this up a little bit. I can just walk over to the truck and turn it up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and turn it up because this is a demo. I don't have time to walk all the way around the house and clean the whole house and have you guys just sit here, wait 45 minutes to an hour for me to decide to bump this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up real quick. Yeah, so Jonathan, did you do the class okay. yesterday? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. And AC is the godfather of soft washing, you know, the Dalai Lama of soft washing. So yeah, it's very interesting. And, uh, what did you learn? The mixology of it, that was really good. Uh, how you mix the chemicals and the application and that. So yeah, it was all very interesting information. Are you doing soft washing at the moment? Little bits, yeah, but I think it's gonna be the way forward. Look at the glass, guys. Look at how nice this makes, the final wash makes the glass.
Yes, we're cleaning the windows at the same time. Now you'd want to come back in. Uh, we just don't have the system hooked up on this yet, but we have a H2 Pro cart hooked up to a tank on this that fills the tank. And we've got a five gallon a minute pump that we can do a pure water rinse on these. So once they're clean, we would hit them with pure water to go ahead and push off the raw mineralized water and replace it with clean 99.9% .9 pure water, RODI, so that the windows dry spot free. So this is like the pre-rinse and then we do a post-rinse just with a trigger sprayer with pure water and these windows are dry spot free and completely clean. The sills, the sash, the gaskets, the screens, everything. You've been thinking about doing soft washing for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I'm going to be doing soft washing. What stands out I mean, most for you for the class yesterday, do you think? I, I, I think it was it's gaining knowledge mm. uh, first hand. And um, um, without all the, the the rubbish that we read on forums mm. and whatever, and it, just from the man who basically invented it all, and to have him there on hand to answer questions, tell us exactly what it's all about, explaining chemicals, explaining spray techniques, um, and teaching you how to sell. Are you doing soft washing right now? Uh, not at the moment, that's something I'm looking at, interested in getting into. So just come to the class to basically learn. You can make as little or as much as you want, it's down to yourself really. So, are you window cleaner now? Or? I am, yeah. So you wanted to bolt this onto your yes. existing business? Yes, do it as an existing, as an add-on and just basically take it from there, see what happens. Well, you don't want to leave plastic on the plants in the sun very long because it'll actually sunburn the plant. The underside leaves, top side leaves, soil. See, am I, am I watering them like this? No, I'm, I'm in here really getting it in on the plant. Jamie, this is your house. It is. And yes. you've got all these people on your lawn. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been soft washing your, uh, your house here. What do you think? I think it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's incredible how clean it's come up. We um, only bought the house a couple of years ago, but I don't think it had been cleaned since it was actually constructed in 2003. Mm. It was refurbished. And, uh, you know, we've had, what, 14 years of leaves and gutter overrun, etc. And it, it really stained it quite badly, but mm. it looks brand new. It's, in, it's absolutely incredible. Would you have ever considered soft washing previously? Uh, you know, I wouldn't have. We, we did, we did um, speak to somebody about um, cleaning it. Because it's and relatively we told, new, isn't it? So it is, yeah, so I believe. And we were told that the actual render was self-cleaning anyway, but, but but, but it's it's clearly not. And um, oh, you've been you've been given that line, have you? Yeah, like that's the self cleaning right. yeah. self cleaning glass. When we bought when we bought the house, we were told that the render was was self cleaning. Um, but 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 it's it's not at all. Um, but no, we'd we'd never heard of it.